Hello, I want to kind of, this is kind of as fluid and as quick as possible. I don't want it to be like those, you know, other blogs where you get uh, random cuts all the way through. Uh, so I, don't, I want to stay away from that. Um, but one of the things, I don't, I don't know why you're going to do really many video logs, vlogs, but um, one of the ones that's quite... I want to do this sort of happening to me that myself at the moment is that I've just recently had shoulder surgery and I'm recovering from it and I kind of want to talk about the problems that it's causing especially with when it comes to working out in the gym and all that sort of thing stuff I like to do um, basically what happened for people that don't know and even few people know <clears throat> what happened with me was I was playing American football and I kind of Otherwise, I'd get blocked out by a lineman, and I, being the fleeting cat I am, I jumped over him, uh, but managed to run into the running back, and we sort of collided. And as I fell, I had my arm outstretched, and I sort of went on his back, and it pulled up, and it tore my labrum. Um, I didn't know this at the time, and I essentially I played for the rest of the season, perfectly fine. Um, I kept going to the gym, all that kind of stuff, kept lifting heavy, so that probably didn't help. It's kind of hurt a little, but I just thought it was because, you know, I've been doing a lot on it and a lot of contact sports and a lot of lifting and all that sort of stuff would like, you know, cause a bit of pain. So I was sort of battling with this shoulder injury and then it would subside and get worse depending on like what I was doing. Um, it was only until at my recent job uh, of working at the local leisure centre that I was doing my lifeguard training, doing my lifeguard course, and when I would be swimming a lot and jumping in and out of the pool and doing all kinds of lifeguardy kind of things, it would really, really hurt. Because obviously, like straddle jumping, for instance, you would go in and the, the force of the water would push your shoulder up. And I thought, hmm, this is going to be, this is quite bad. Uh, because it was kind of one of those things that I was sort of, I thought to myself, like, if I actually had to go into the water in, like, a rescue situation, my shoulder just gave or something like that, it would be pretty bad. Um, so I made I made the decision to go get an MRI, and they found that I had a labrum tear, and they said that they would have to operate on it. It's fine, doing all that. Went to the operation, it was fine. I think it was a one to five o'clock tear in my labrum. Uh, they you know, patched it up, and I've been out for about, eight weeks, this is week nine at the moment, um, I've been trying to keep up off it as much as possible, especially at work, um, trying to do light duties, but it's never always that simple to do. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about was the fact that, I know a lot of uh, other vloggers and stuff do stuff about like the, the day of the operation, all that sort of stuff, which is really helpful for me um, as well when I was, uh, uh, like before I was going into it, I was kind of like wondering well, what's going to happen, what stages, so it's always good to see like what stages you would be at as well, but I've not seen many sort of like after posts and all that, all that kind of crap, um, so at the moment I'm kind of um, doing my resistance band training, sort of building the strength back in the shoulder, and the strength has depleted a lot, um, and it's a pain, it's a pain in the ass. it's really grinding me down now, because it's like, <laughs> working sort of in and around a gym, and you know, being good friends with the gym instructor, and like having friends that go to the gym, and you see them, you see them going to the gym, and you, you, you know, you haven't seen them for six weeks, and you're like, fucking hell, you've got some gains, and then, you know, they're all talking about, ooh, uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna start cutting soon, and you know, getting into shape for summer and all this thing, and talking about the workouts and how best are their benches or their squat or whatever, and it's really annoying because you're just <laughs> you're just sat there thinking you look like the Michelin Man uh, because that does have a psychological effect on you, especially when you're been going to the gym a lot, working out, and all of a sudden you just stop. So it's kind of one of those annoying things that happens and you, you just want to get back into it as much as possible, but you, 
you sort of got to be um, balance it between you've got to get better so you're doing as little as possible so you appeal faster so you can get back into the gym so it's not worth um, I mean if you if anyone that watches this probably not but if anyone watches this that's in that situation they're sort of in that lull between doing strength training on the shoulder like doing the resistance bands over and over again like rotator cuff and all this sort of thing and thinking god I've, I, you know I, I reckon I could uh, you know, do some pull-ups or do something like that. It's not. It's not worth it, especially if you tear it again or do something stupid. It's like you're back to square one. You let more time at the gym, and I would say I've lost quite. I lost quite a bit of weight or put weight. On. I'm not quite sure yet how it's gone. I think I've lost weight and put weight on, but like fat. So that's the problem. I need to sort of sort out, and I want to get back to what I was doing. Okay. Um, anyway, um, so that's always the problem, basically, that I have is balancing between. I mean, the problem is, let's be fair, it's up here, and the physiotherapist says something's so noisy. The physiotherapist says, "Oh, you can do legs." Oh, great! You can do legs. <laughs> Fantastic. But you know, it's something like. I mean, a couple of weeks, I think I think I did like two weeks after surgery, or like a week, week, probably a week and a half, something like that, when I felt like oh, it's fine. Um, I would do like body weight squats and stuff and be on the, um, like the, the bike, the bike and, you know, doing things just to keep myself active and now I'm sort of doing more, I can't do anything heavy, like heavy squats because the pressure on my shoulder is kind of hurting, I don't know if that's just me being a pussy, but it kind of, I'm just kind of thinking, it's kind of hurts, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, but I've been doing a lot of, I've been like, can do goblet squats, can sort of do that. Like that, you know. I've um, been doing a lot of that and leg press and stuff like that. Stuff that, you know, don't involve your shoulder that much. But I've been just been keeping active. Um, I think that's important, especially when you're sort of in the gym. But it's still annoying, you're in the gym and you like, you see people, um, on the bench press and stuff and like doing curls so it's just annoying I mean in four weeks I sh or three weeks now I think it is I should be doing be able to do start doing light workout again so I'll be doing light so even when I'm doing light it'll feel better because I can do you know I'll I'll be repping those uh, one kilo weights just you know tearing through it but do, doing something light will be better than doing nothing and you can do a lot of volume training and sort of things like that. Um, but I don't know if I'll, I don't, I won't do like a, a weekly vlog, I'll just sort of do it when I'm back to training, even light, so I can sort of talk about that and how it how it is for people that are sort of behind where I am in the stage because a labour and tear is quite a common thing because it's, you can do it by, you know, like, as I said, falling like that or wear and tear. Or by lifting um, heavy quite a lot. It, it, it just, it's just one of those things that can happen. So I'm assuming there's probably quite a lot. There's, there's a lot of people. I mean, there was, there was like four or five people there when I had surgery that were virtually having the same sort of surgery that day. So it's quite common. Um, but you just got to... Got to take, if you've just had surgery, you've just got to take it easy and not do anything stupid. You've got to take your morphine and stuff like that to give you just know the pain. And <clears throat> it said in my booklet, I don't know if, if other British people have got an NHS booklet for shoulder repair, but I don't know why I'm acting out a booklet anyway. But it says in there that you can take your sling off at night. I don't because if you think about it, you're like this at night. You know, if you didn't have that on that restriction, you could probably like, go, you know, that or like that um, and hurt yourself and you sleep if you like a, a regular as it was but I mean my range of motions back I mean I can do that sort of like that I can put it behind my back sort of thing like that so range of motions back so I think it's just building up the strength now and making sure that it's fully healed and then I can get back to it it's just depressing when they say oh you won't be able to lift heavy uh, for another couple of months like properly and it's just pain in the ass. But it has to be done. Um, another thing I was going to say, I'm going to do the Tough Mudder in May with a few people, my girlfriend and 
Jamie doing it. Jamie, who you've heard in my other videos. Um, so we'll be doing that soon. So hopefully I'll be able to get some strength back and be able to do it and not fail in all the courses. That's what I'm hoping. But like I say, I'll do another blog or something in a couple of weeks, sort of talk about what I'm doing workout-wise. Um, workout-wise, sort of, to... I don't know, sort of highlight what is easiest to do or what I'm kind of doing to get through not having maybe at that stage I won't be able to do much shoulder shoulder stuff or not bench press or just yeah just things as they occur and talk about that but I think it's an important um, thing and especially if you have got a problem with your shoulder and you don't want to get checked out because you're worried about having haven't had surgery and you're gonna be out for eight weeks and you're like oh god I'm gonna lose all my gains and uh don't don't be stupid get it sorted out as soon as possible make an appointment with your local GP, doctor, whatever it is, and get an MRI as soon as possible and make sure you get your shoulders sorted out because even though the doctor said to me that people can live with this, um, you just have to change your lifestyle, why bother? Get it sorted out if you can. You know, have the surgery, have the bite the bullet, take the eight, nine weeks off or whatever it is or how long it takes you and you will probably come back stronger because you're not having to fight this injury, you're not having to change your workouts, you're not having to change how you live just so you don't hurt your shoulder or if you have like a particular motion or like, yeah, I can imagine if you played cricket or baseball or anything that has like a throwing sort of motion, if you're like doing that, you're gonna crunch it, dislocate it, I don't know, it's gonna be more susceptible to those sorts of movements or if you're a swimmer or something like that. So I would say definitely get it sorted out. But, like I say, I'll do another one at some point in the future. I just wanted to talk about it. I don't think I've highlighted any of my points. I think, I think I've highlighted all my points I wanted. But yeah.